In this video, we will get introduced to some of the route filtering methods which are most commonly used. And initially, first we'll start with how we can control the routing updates using the different route filtering methods. So let us try to understand what is a route filtering method. So route filtering method is um, it's a method of it's a process of allowing or denying a specific routes entering into the routing table. You know, by default, if you talk about a normal routing process, normally by default, whenever you advertise any interface, let's take an example here. Uh, by default, we got three routers here, and we are advertising a normal a normal IGP advertisements. It can be RIP, or it can be EHRP or OSPO. By default, whenever you configure the basic routing, router two, router three is going to advertise the routes to router two, and router two advertises to router one. Similar way, router one advertises to other router, whichever it is connected on the other end. So which means that is what default routing process, whatever the dynamic routing we are using by default, they work based on advertisements and whatever the networks you advertise in your router using a network command, those routes will be automatically advertised to router two and then it will advertise to router one like that. So by default, all the routes will be advertised to every neighbor. But uh, when it is doing that, I may, I may require some of the routes. Let's take an example here. I got four low backs here. Out of these four loopbacks, I want my router three to make sure that it is going. To, it should advertise only two routes to router two, which means the remaining two routes I want to deny them installing into the routing table. So, or you may want a specific routes, specific routes only to be advertised, not all the routes. You might want only some of the specific routes to be advertised to router two. So this method we call as route filtering methods. So there are multiple scenarios where route filtering is applicable i will definitely get into those some of the simple scenarios where route filtering is more applicable so the basic definition of the basic understanding of the route filtering method is to make sure that it will allow or deny a specific routes what routes should be advertised and what routes should not be advertised so it's it's all about controlling your routing updates so we are going to control our routing updates and we are going to define which routes must be advertised or which routes should not be advertised. So there are multiple scenarios where we may want to use route filtering. Like I got some of the scenarios here listed you can see. The first thing you can see here you might need to control exactly which route should be advertised. Like I just took an example uh, router 3 just want to advertise only two routes to router 2. So which routes you want to advertise or sometimes you may be using multiple routing protocols. Let's take an example. Um, I'm using some multiple routing protocols here. I might be using, let's take an example. I got two different routing protocols. I'm running RIP and I'm running EHRP here. So when you're running multiple routing protocols, I may want when I'm doing redistribution. So by default, when you do redistribution of EHRP to RIP, by default, all the routes will be get redistributed. But I, I just want to make sure that only some specific routes must be redistributed. Not all the routes, only some of the specific routes. So in that case also, it is more applicable. You can even use a route filtering methods to match those specific routes and to define them at the time of redistribution. So that is one more scenario where a route filtering might be applicable. At the time of redistributions, even we can define the paths to be chosen. Or you may you may want, like maybe you have two routes to reach a specific destination, and you are receiving some ten routes from this side, and you want to make sure that the five routes should use this path, and the remaining five should use the alternate path. So that's what we call as path manipulations. We we can also do some path manipulations, like how how it has to use what are the what is the path it has to use to reach a specific destination or it can be source based destination based that's what we call as policy based routing we'll see get into this policy based routing more in detail when in our next video so in this video i'm just giving you some uh, basic overview where a route filtering might be applicable so it is generally defining which routes should be advertised or sometimes we may want only some of the specific routes to get redistributed okay like this is also the same point advertise only to specific routes to the neighbor by default uh, router one advertises everything to router two but 
if I want, I can advertise only some specific routes by using these route filtering methods. So we'll get into these things practically, we'll verify this or at the time of redistribution, also path manipulation, even you might want uh, to change the metric of some other values. So this, this I will explain you more in detail when I get into my uh, route maps video, which will be coming in our next uh, videos. So you may want to change the metric for some specific routes. I got a separate uh, lab or separate video dedicated for this one as well. You might want to change the administrative distance of some of the specific routes. Like I said, uh, you may be receiving some 10 routes. Uh, maybe the routes are coming from EHRP and the default administrative distance uh, will be 90. So you can even change for some routes. When they go out, they should have administrative distance of other than 90, like 100. We can even change the administrative distance for more specific routes. So these are the, some of the cases and uh, route filtering is a little bit much commonly used with BGP protocol. When we use BGP, especially with service provider. So when, when we run BGP between our router and service provider by default, it will exchange all the routes. So we don't want all the routes and we want to deny all the routes and only some specific routes I want I want to learn from ISP or when, when I'm advertising some routes, I don't want to advertise all my networks, I want to advertise only specific networks. So it's more applicable in BGP as well, uh, even we do some path manipulations in BGP. So we'll be doing these things, we'll, we'll definitely use this, some of the filtering methods in BGP as well when we get into our BGP topics. And as I said, policy based routing. So in the policy based routing, we can define what route the router has to use. So these are all different examples I have listed. I just try to put, keep all the examples at one place where you might require a route filtering. So definitely we'll see all these things more in detail, more practically we'll verify these things, how to implement and how to verify these things. So before we get into our practical scenarios, let us try to understand what are the different ways or methods can be used for filtering your routes. Like the first one, we'll start with passive interface. Uh, we'll see more, much more in detail about passive interface in our next videos. So distribution list is one of the easy method of filtering the routes. At the same time, we can also use some prefix list. It's more like ACL statements. We'll see more in detail about this as well with the separate lab scenarios. So we'll, we'll verify this, all these uh, different ways of filtering the routes by using some simple lab scenarios they will understand how to use them and how to define and way to apply all these things and finally we use a route map which is one of the complex route filtering method at the same time it is a, one of the flexible method uh, it's more like a if else program so we'll definitely see about route maps as well so probably we'll get into passive interface all these things in our next videos so finally let me just quickly summarize what we do here in route filtering. So route filtering is a method of filtering the routes in the routing table. So there are two ways, either you can deny, filter the routes when they go out of your interface or you can even deny or we can say we can even when they enter into my interface. So so it is slightly different with ACL. So you might think this is similar to ACL. ACL is different and your route filtering methods are different. So ACL will not affect the routing table means when you're applying the ACL when you are denying the communication between 1.1 and 2.1 so the packet still goes to the router router checks the routing table and forward the packet and finally it will drop on the interface because the ACLs whatever you learn in your basic CCNA we are going to implement on the interface level but this route filtering methods whatever we use we are not applying on the interface we we apply in the router mode so which is going to tell what routes should be installed or what routes should be denied because apart from doing some basic routing when you get into production networks you may want like some of the routes should be denied entering into my routing table which are coming from my service provider or it might be from other branch office or i might i may want uh, to control some of the routes where some specific routes should not get advertised to my neighbor so let us get into more in detail in our next scenarios where we'll start with some passive interface distribution list, all those things. Thank you.